we are about to attempt to drink tomatoes okay so quick backstory i tried a recipe yesterday and i posted it in my stories and i was just like it still tastes so much like tomato but i want to eat tomatoes okay i want to be able to drink them um because i don't eat them often in my meals i try to incorporate them but it don't always work out so i just feel like there's just so many benefits to eating tomatoes having it a part of your diet so i'm just like i gotta try i gotta try right okay so if you are new to this channel welcome if you're returning still welcome uh i do a little bit of everything on here but i've been juicing pretty hard lately so i'm just gonna keep on going with these and uh they've just been so good for my diet they are crazy um if you haven't seen any of my other videos yet please go check them out i have a review on the juicer that i use i have different recipes that i've tried the ones that are my favorite and um yeah that's it all right let's make the drink so i have the tomatoes as we already know i'm going to also be adding cucumber this cucumber was grown in the garden my dad gross fruit and vegetable actually just vegetables right now but this came from our garden um i have three limes i'm gonna use one of them as a garnish and then the other two are gonna go in the drink we have strawberries and these are pretty ripe like they were like this close to being bad so i got lucky remembering that i had them because they weren't they weren't going to make it and then I also have watermelon. Watermelon has been in a lot of my drinks lately because it's the summertime. And if you're not eating watermelon in the summer, what are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? Okay, so we are going to cut all of our produce. Um, it's been washed. I'm going to peel the skin off of the cucumber just so that um it actually juices better without the rind the skin is good obviously there's like a lot of nutrients that you're going to miss out but we'll be all right we peel it we're going to chop it up um try to keep the pieces i try to keep the pieces around smaller than two inches it just helps them juice quicker um and what i've learned is that even if the pieces are like still kind of big what'll happen is it'll get back up in this part of the juicer. So to avoid those problems, we are going to cut them as small as we can so that it doesn't get backed up. Sides about this big. Mm. Zoomed. Okay, so I'm going to actually juice in between because I don't feel like moving the cutting board. Yeah, we're just gonna juice in between. Usually I cut everything and then put it in there, but we're just gonna break the rules today. So I just juiced the cucumbers. I added an extra cucumber because the, it only gave me like barely two ounces of juice. And so I figured I want to have a little bit more cucumber to balance out the um, acidity of the tomatoes. I think that's, I think that works. It sounds like science. So we're going to see. Um, I juiced the strawberries. Um, I had about like eight strawberries, so I had those in there, maybe more. Somewhere, at least eight. Um, and now we're going to cut up the tomatoes. Um, I'm gonna cut them up in probably like eight pieces. And 
juice those and see how much we get from these. Okay, so we got some little half moons. We're gonna juice these. And then after that, we're gonna move on to the water moon. And then the lime will be added last. There's no reason for the order, it's just the way I'm feeling. <laughs> So we got, I had to transfer it to a bigger, to a bigger um, cup. So what do we have here? We got about, I can't see the measurements. Okay, so we got about two cups of juice from what we already put in the juicer. And then the last thing we're gonna add are the limes. Debating if we should use one or two limes. I'm not really sure how it's going to taste all the way. But I really like this taste of lime. So I'm going to go ahead and go with two. And if I messed up, I messed up. <laughs> if anything, I usually just, I'll add water to it to kind of mellow out the flavor if it ends up being too many, like clashing all together. So we'll see if we need to add water to it. What do we have now? Almost, we have about three cups from this and it looks pretty saturated already so I think I'm going to add some water before I taste it and I think that that'll be the last thing that it needs to really have it be a nice refreshing flavor and not like a you know a kick a kick in the mouth yeah okay I'm gonna add about a cup of water to it And I'm gonna clean up a little bit and we're gonna taste it. We got um, our, I put my drinks in little mugs so that, in little glass mugs so that I can save them in the fridge. You use a pitcher if you want, if you're gonna be just like pouring into the same cup all day. I have my one that I'm drinking out of right now. I put ice in that one. I don't put ice in the other ones because they're gonna be in the fridge so. They'll be cold and I don't want them to get more diluted with the ice. So we're going to cut up our lime into some wedges. And I'm going to cut the skin off of this one too. Because when it goes into the drink, the skin can still make it bitter sitting in there. And our goal is not to alter the flavor of the drink. At least too much. I think it changes a little bit as it sits in the fridge and gets colder. But we don't want that girl to be tart now. Don't be bitter, you know? So, so we're making little lime wheels. And then I'm going to cut one open so that it can go onto the glass. Right there. And then the other ones are going to go inside. They'll just be a fun treat at the end. They're going to probably be delicious once they sat in that drink all day. It's okay if they don't fill up all the way. I'm going to actually pour a little bit from this one in here. So that 
everyone's all even. Let's see. I'll put the lids on those for later. And this is the one I'm drinking today. Hmm. Okay. So I maybe didn't need the water. <laughs> it's still a little diluted. But the tomato is not overpowering, which is amazing. And I think I'll add a little bit of add a little bit of agave to it just to make it a little bit sweeter. Is it, I'll get this from the grocery store. There we go. This brand's pretty good and I like the consistency of it. It's thinner than honey, so it mixes really well with cold drinks. Yes. Okay. The agave definitely helped. It boosts the flavor. The drink is refreshing. The tomato is like almost non-existent, which probably defeats the purpose. <laughs> but this is really good for people who like don't really have a sweet tooth. If you want something that's like has a hint of sweet, then I would definitely say you will really like this recipe because it gives you like that refreshing taste and that um that little hints of sweet but it's not like you know making your tooth start to throb or nothing like that you know what i mean so yes i'm excited i'm gonna probably drink on these like for the rest of the day just like pick one up whenever i get thirsty um and something that i always forget to mention is that if you are detoxing i mean it's just in general in life drink your water y'all drink your water okay I will not, this does not substitute water. It does have a lot of water in it, so it helps, especially if you're like not a fan of water. But in between, you should definitely stay hydrated because that is going to help your detox. Um, and yeah, be sure, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like my juices. If you're feeling these, let's make this a real thing. Okay, and I will talk to you guys in the next video, whatever that ends up being. Might be juice, might be something else. I don't know yet. Until then.